it's our final night on Lewis. That is our, our home for the night. And as you can probably see, it's horrendously um, windy tonight. Very, very windy. Our plan is to go out to the Battle of Lewis Lighthouse again tonight. This time to try and get some images. It's going to be breezy. It's going to be wild. Going to have to be very, very careful. And then we're coming back to sleep, like I say, in here. Which, um... We've spent the last few hours watching it out of this living room window, pretty much almost blowing away. Our friend who lives here, her sheep have escaped, which is, you know, just, just part of, of Hebridean life. Your, your sheep just escape out of the fields and you've got to go and save them. So when she gets back, we're going to have tea and then we're going to head up to the lighthouse. <laughs> well, you know, this series was meant to be fun and exciting and it's probably going to be epic, you know. Leaving this island with a bang, in the stormy weather, and sleeping in a tent which is probably going to collapse overnight. We actually went away earlier to see some sea eagles, which you may have seen in the last episode. I'm not sure how I'm doing it yet, but you may have seen that in the last episode. And if you did, when we got back from that sea eagle trip, our tent was like pretty much fallen over. One of the poles was sticking out, about five of the pegs were out. It's gonna be a wild night, guys, but let's have tea and then head to the Bat of Lewis Lighthouse. So as I mentioned in video one from this Harrison Lewis series, the Butt of Lewis is in the Guinness Book of Records for being the windiest place in Britain. And I think tonight we may experience that. Not quite 100 mile an hour winds, but it is pretty windy here this evening.
past her and just look at the view. It really is like some other world here. It's it's fascinating. It's like a volcanic. It's like almost like a volcanic eruption and all this stone and the sediment has been left behind. What a view. And what a rugged and wild place this is. I'm so glad I came here on Monday and scouted it out because I know exactly where I want to shoot from or sort of exactly where I want to shoot from. It all depends on where the wind's coming from because I don't want to do anything dangerous, obviously. I need to try and escape from the sheltered locations, try and get some compositions and images from the safe spots and just see what I managed to capture. But onto this view, just look at it. It's like you're in some like otherworldly place. Like you're at the end of the world. landscape photography was easy did they? This was our final chance here on the Isle of Lewis to get some decent images. Unfortunately the weather is just too windy. This wall that I'm hiding behind right now is the only place around here that is sheltered enough to kind of film and to, to make, take any images and there's nothing compositionally to take images of. This lighthouse is obviously beautiful but without a foreground and a middle ground it's, it's not really worth taking images. We did go back to the bit I mentioned at the start of the video to try and get some photos but the wind seems to have picked up. It's only meant to be 24 miles an hour but it feels like so much more than that here. I can't imagine what this place must be like when it's a proper gale. It must be crazy. We're going to head back now to the tent and hope and pray that it's still standing because the wind is just insane here. Hopefully we'll manage to, to sleep in it overnight and not get blown away. As always I want to say thank you all again for watching. Thank you for persevering with this video on this extremely windy night and joining us on this adventure. Despite the lack of photography it has been exhilarating being here tonight and it has been really really enjoyable to see this place in the wind because when we were here on Monday it was it was gorgeous sunshine and it didn't live up to its name at all. Anyway, I will hopefully see you all again next time.
Well, that is the end of the Lewis and Harris series. I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you who has watched this series and most importantly for all of you who have persevered with it and watched every single video. This is the biggest thing that I have done on YouTube to date. Ten episodes from five days on the Outer Hebrides. It was very full on. A lot of things went to plan but a lot of things didn't go to plan as well. I got very tired at times trying to find time for photography as well as videography as well as just generally exploring and enjoying my holiday it was it was a challenge but I have learned a lot from it in order to take this channel forward and before we say goodbye to this series I just want to ask you all if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment down below and let me know what your favourite episode was from the series. I have created a playlist from all, with all the episodes from the series so if you've, if you've missed any or want to recap go up there and, and have a look through them all and yeah I'd just be really interested to know what your favourite episode was and just some general feedback as well I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to do that. Moving forward I would also be interested in knowing if there is a particular island or region in Scotland which you would like me to film a series from next year. I cannot guarantee I will have the time to do it but if there is somewhere which you viewers are most interested in seeing I'll, I'll try my best to make it happen. But now that the Lewis and Harris series is over I better get outside and start creating some new content for you all. I'll see you all again next time.